My dear Darwin, do you think our young friend here, equipped with a multiplicity of talents, might be enough to ensure Mr. Hammond safe passage? Who's Hammond when he's at home, then? A mutual friend of ours. He arrives in London today. From South Africa, no less. Mr. Hammond is possessed of both tremendous wealth and charming innocence. Which makes him rather attractive prey for some of our great city's less savory inhabitants. We fear he'll need a more robust escort than two old men might provide. I'm not a coachman, you know. We have already told him to expect you. His train should have arrived ten minutes ago. Well, then, I suppose a friend of yours is a friend of mine. Splendid. Off you go. Mr. John Hammond? That is correct. Jacob Fry, Mr. Dickens sent me to meet you. Oh, good old Dickens. How very kind of him. Lead on, then. Back again, Jacob. Glad to see you. London. Can't say I've missed the weather. My father passed away recently, and I have come home to settle his affairs. Also, I am to be married. You don't sound too keen on the idea. I have never even met my future bride, Bella Milton. It was all arranged for me. She may be a good woman, or she may not. I stand to inherit a vast sum. Can I be certain the lady is not simply in it for the money? as a nobody. We shall see if she'll have me now. Come, we must dispose of my body. Find us a carriage to take us to the river. Yeah. 
go and meet my fiance. I can't wait to see her response. <laughs> I feel quite liberated, as if a great weight has been lifted from my shoulders. After this, just to be sure, would you take me to my fiancé's house? I shall deliver the Very sad fine. news myself. Seems a bit risky to me. She has never set eyes on me. Besides, I need to ascertain whether I like her as well. And I want to see how she reacts to the news of my death. Miss Wilson? Yes? My name is John Rokesmith. I'm afraid I have some terrible news for you. I say, oh? stop it at once! Your fiancé, John Hammond, was found dead in the River Thames this morning. Oh, how awful! Poor Mr. Hammond. I am at a loss at what to say to you, sir. You must forgive me. She is delightful. Why, I do believe I love her. <laughs> Certainly an unusual first meeting to talk about in your wedding speech.